Hello everyone, my name is Liu Zhe. I'm from the Institute of Software Chinese Academy of Science. Today I will introduce my research work, OS Supporting UI Display Issues via Visual Understanding. As we all know, UI provides a visual bridge between software applications and end users through which they can interact with each other. Nowadays, mobile applications also pay more attention to HCI and UI. A good UI design makes an application easy and practical to use, which affects the successful of application and the loyalty of its users. However, the variety of visual effects in UI design brings great challenges to developers. As shown in figure, UI display issues always occur during UI rendering on different devices due to the software or hardware compatibility. They negatively influence the application usability, resulting in poor user experience. In order to ensure the correctness of UI display, companies have to recruit many testers for UI testing or crowd testing. Some automated testing tools are also widely used in industry. However, these tools can only support critical crash bugs rather than UI display issues, which cannot be captured by system. In this work, We've aimed at detecting the UI display issues with the screenshots generated during automatic testing by visual understanding. To understand the common UI rendering issues, we first carry out a pilot study on screenshots from 562 mobile applications to observe the display issues in these screenshots. Results show that the 43% of screenshots are of UI display issues, which can seriously impact the user experience. Besides, we also manually check the screenshots from 200 applications in Rico dataset. We found that 16 applications are with UI display issues. But note that the number is highly underestimated as the collected screenshots do not cover all pages of the applications, and the applications are not fully tested on different devices with different screen resolutions. Most of those UI display issues are caused by different system settings in different devices. Although the software can still run along with these bugs, they negatively influence the fluent usage with the applications and resulting in the bad user experience. Therefore, this study is targeting at detecting those UI display issues. As shown in figure, we notice that there are different types of UI display issues. Following the card sorting method, we classify those UI display issues into five categories, including component occlusion, text overlap, missing image, non value, and blank screen. These findings confirm the severity of UI display issues and motivate us to design approach for automatically detect these issues. Inspired by the fact that these UI display issues can be supported by human eyes, so we propose to identify these issues with visual understanding, which imitates the human visual system. As the UI screenshots are easy to fetch and exert no significant difference across the application, from different platform and devices. So our image-based approach are more flexible and easy to deploy. It's spared by the fact that UI display issues can be easily supported by human eyes. So we propose a tool, our eyes. 
It uses CNN to detect the issues and also uses the grant cam to localize the issues in the screenshots for guiding developers to fix the bug. As shown in figure, given a screenshot, our CNN-based model can further classify if it has any UI display issues with the visual understanding. Once the issue is confirmed, our model can further localize the detailed issue position on the screenshot by grand cam based model for guiding developers to fix the bug. Then I will tell you something about our CNN based model. As the UI display issues can only be supported by visual information, we adopt the CNN. The figure shows the structure of our model. It has 12 convolutional layers, bunch normalization, 6 pooling layers, and 4 full connection layers. Also, our CNN-based model can check if the given screenshot is of UI display issues. Some UI display issues may still be too small to spot in a large UI screenshot. Therefore, besides the CNN-based model, we adopt the feature visualization method to localize the detailed position of the issue for guiding the developers to fix the bugs. This can also help us evaluate whether the feature extracted by our CNN mode is accurate or not. As shown in figure, we apply grand time model for the localization of UI display issues. As we all know, the final convolutional layer of CNN model contains spatial information. So it can use the class-specific gradient information flowing into the final convolutional layer to produce a localization map. Then we can use the localization map as the issue localization result. Okay, as we all know, training an effective CNN model for visual understanding requires a large number of input data. However, we don't have such type of open data sets and also collecting the issue screenshot need a lot of time. So we develop a heuristic based data augmentation method for generating screenshot with UI display issues from the bug-free UI images. As shown in the algorithm, with the input screenshot and its JSON file, the algorithm first locates the text view and image view. Then, randomly choose a text view or image view depends on the rules, such as the size and the text. And the figure gives the examples of the augmented screenshots with the UI display issues. Then, I will introduce our evaluation of ROI. We have three questions. The first question, how effective of ROI in detecting issues? The second question, how effective of ROI in localization issues? And the third question is the usefulness evaluation of ROIs. As shown in the table, we can see that the experimental datasets come from two sources. The first one is the screenshots from the crowd testing, and the second one is the screenshots generated by the data augmentation method and the details you can see from the table. For the first question, we first present the issue detection performance of our proposed ROIs. With ROIs, the precision is 85%, indicating 85% of the screenshot 
which are predicted as having UI display issues, are truly buggy. And the recall is 84%, indicating 84% buggy screenshots can be found with all eyes. The table shows the performance comparison with the baselines. We can see that our proposed ROS is much better than the baseline. For example, it's 70% higher in the recall compared with the best baseline, MLP. Then, we further analyze the screenshots which are strongly practiced as bug-free. With example in figure, one common shared by this screenshot is that the buggy area is too tiny to be recognized even with the human eye. And in the future, we will focus on improving the detection performance for this screenshot with the image magnification. Then, we also conduct experience to compare the detection performance with different configurations of CNN model. The table shows that the performance of UI display issues detection in terms of different convolutional layers and bench normalization. We can see that both the convolutional layers and the bench normalization can improve the issue detection performance. From the red table, we can see that both precision and recall improve when the augmented screenshots are added to the training data. For the second question, the figure shows that the example of our issue localization. We conduct a user study to evaluate the localization performance. We found six software developers online. All of them major in software engineering and have more than two years of software development experiments. Each of them is presented with 679 correctly detected buggy screenshots in the question 1. They are required to evaluate the issued localization results and to answer the question whether they agree with each of the localization results using the 5 lecter scale. And the evaluation results should be returned within 8 hours to ensure the credibility of the study. As shown in the table, the developers strongly agree or agree with the UI display issues localization results in an average of 90%. We further analyze the bad case of issue localization as shown in the figure. We found that, as mentioned in the first question, this might be cause of the tiny region for localizing the issues. For the third question, we conducted the usefulness evaluation. To further assess the usefulness of our RI. We randomly sample 1,500 Android applications from F-Droid and 700 Android applications from Google Play. Note that none of these applications appear in our training datasets. The table shows all UI display issues supported by our OS and more detailed information of detected issues can be seen in our websites. For F-Droid applications, 24 UI display issues are detected. Six of them have been fixed, and another eight have been confirmed by developers. For Google Play, 33 UI display issues are detected. Four of them have been fixed, and another eight have been confirmed by the developers. So, these fixed or confirmed bug reports further show the effectiveness and usefulness of our ROIs in detecting UI display issues. In the end, improving the quality of mobile applications, especially in a proactive way, 
is of great value and always encouraged. We focus on automatic detecting the UI display issues from the screenshot generated from automatic testing. And we propose the OS is proven to be effective in real-world practice. As the first work of its kind, we also contribute a large-scale dataset of application screenshots with UI display issues for follow-up studies. In the future, we will keep improving our model for better performance in classification. Apart from the UI display issues detection, we will further locate the root cause of these issues in our future work. That's all, thank you.